as much as I love Illustrator and do crazy things like this, like watch the layers flow by, you know, with everything named, uh, these are inventory items for you guys. For skill sets you're going to be learning. Like the shortcut for preferences in this color scheme means it works for both Illustrator and Photoshop. But as much as I love Illustrator and do lots of work in it, my day-to-day -day workhorse, <laughs> yeah, it's the Mac Lab, but it's Photoshop. I'm working in this all the time. You know, whether I'm taking screenshots and trimming stuff or whatever. And quite often, I'm not even saving the file itself. I'm saving out a JPEG and just tossing the document away. So probably close to 80 or 90% of the things I do day in and day out don't even appear here because I'm not saving a PSD. PSDs, the native Photoshop document. Uh, Illustrator files are .ai, Photoshop.psd, but when you're saving to the cloud, is PSDC. They always add that C at the end for cloud. Now, as far as a new document, yeah, 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 but you know what I'm going to say already because I've said it so many times. What's the shortcut for a new document? In anything, command N, right? And just like Illustrator, Photoshop is going to default to the most recent item. And the last thing I did in in with, with the Finder was I, I captured a screenshot of the entire screen. This is my native resolution on this iMac, 5120 by 2880. Crazy, 5K monitor. That's why some things look smaller here. But just like Illustrator, when we grab a new document in Photoshop, you know, when we're working from scratch, we're going straight to web. And we're gonna, yeah, 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 templates. Other stuff, cool stuff we can use. View all presets. Man, not very many. How come Photoshop doesn't have as many as Illustrator? Well, don't worry about it. Web large, 1920 by 1080. That sound familiar? We're going to use that a lot. And look, 1920, 1080, 72, RGB. And this time, background color white. Like I mentioned in the, the preferences in that first video, or second video, I don't know, um, first video, that Photoshop actually does have a white layer where Illustrator has white, but there's nothing there. Big difference, something you got to be aware of. And yeah, you can change the background color, but for right now, we're just going to create it. Here's the first problem. Do you see where it says artboard right here? Do you see where it says artboard right here? Now, artboards are great if you're working on interface design and you're going to have dozens of artboards all over your screen. We're not going to do that, or at least we're not going to do that uh, in the first semester unless you're a mutant and you've got some mutant project we're going to work on. So whenever this happens, whenever you see artboard here, don't miss it because I'll see it as I walk past or artboard here, immediately, Command W, get out of there. Make a new document, Document. Command N. Now I want to show you. That was a trick and I wanted you to fall for it. Once again, we're going to the web. We're going to web large. Oh yeah, show all presets. I want you guys to get used to this so you can see what's here. And you see these, but what I didn't point out is right here, artboards. By default, it's on. I have no idea why this is on. Is yours on? Again, I have no idea because nobody's done this yet. I should have checked it in a student account. If your art board is off, just say, Scotch goes crazy, man. What's he, what, he, he's seeing things. Okay, we want art boards off and we still have all the same settings that we had before. Now you click create and now you have something this size most likely. I don't know. Your 21 and a half inch IMAX do have resolution up to 4,000, so I don't know what you see. Uh, they're not 5K, so 5K shows me everything. Here's actual size. 5K shows me actual size in Photoshop, which sucks for making these tutorials because everything's half the size of what you see, or at least that's what I think. Command plus just bumps me up to 200%. 
right there. So if I was seeing it at half size, which is really 25% size, if you think area, okay? But for the sake of simplicity, 100%, 200%, let's just call it double. Um, that this is what we want to see. This is a new document. No artboard here. I can't tell you how important this is. No artboard here because what's going to happen is it's going to introduce some complications over here when we get working in multiple layers. And just, just trust me, okay? Trust me on this, okay? So you have a background. You have a single Photoshop document. And I'm going to save this, what we call that Illustrator file. Let's hit Command-S. And once again, let's say, what just happened? Shift Command S, am I not in this? Let me try that again, I wanna get out of here because I wanna see why that didn't work. Command S, since we haven't saved something, I don't get it, where's this saving to? Okay, live and learn, I don't know. Shift Command S, file save as. You're gonna save documents all the time, get used to this, okay? Shift Command S, file, Ah, file, save as. I need to put my glasses on, I can't see. I never go up here. Save is grayed out, so this must have saved, but it's saved without adding an extension. So I don't even know what that is because Photoshop automatically adds the .psd. I told you, you get the part before the dot and the extension name. Photoshop gets the part after your name the dot and the extension. So if I do shift command S and save this to the cloud and we'll just call it layers zero one again. So it's the same name as the other one and we're saving to the cloud. Watch what happens to the name up here. Photoshop is automatically gonna add the dot PSD and then the C for cloud. It's a cloud document. So now, if I close this, Command W, remember in Illustrator, this wasn't white. This was, let me go back over to Illustrator so I can show you. We'll close that up. Um, oh, I saved over the top of it. But do you remember when there was nothing here and it was the color of this background? Like this. I have no white background there, so you see everything's dimmed out. Anyway, Photoshop actually does have a white layer, so it appears with a white layer, and then you can always open this up later. Okay, lots of talking, but we got to clear up this weirdness here, and I'll find out when kids start doing this what yours looks like, because um, this is the natural size that you're used to looking at. But of course, technology matches, marches on. Everything gets more powerful. There's more resolution. It just keeps going and going and going. Uh, so pretty soon, HD won't be 1920 by 1080. You know, we'll just be moving into 4K, 5K, 8K. You know, it's already happening. Um, so things used to be simpler back in the 90s, but I'm not complaining. I love the march of technology and the flexibility because we got to change all the time. We got to stay in a constant frame of learning. Keep our minds open to new ideas.